What the fuck is afterlife? I literally have no words. Hmm. May 25th to what? I was in the box number 15 and thank God I was because I was just about to lose all hope. The move had been spotty, yes. Somewhere in our youthful naivety, Indian. Indian. Ian and I decided it was no longer necessary to each own a separate car. I'll, it'll save us on gas, we said. It'll be our shared baby, we said. It'll mean less insurance bills, we said. But when push came to shove, we needed this car to pull through more than ever. It didn't have enough trunk space to fit even half of Ian's things in it. Fast forward five trips to and from the college, boxing up my things and driving them in our new apartment, and then doing the same for all his. That was horrible, and we both agreed to never do it ever again. But 15 boxes into unpacking all this, the driving back and forth was beginning to feel like the easy part. I stank, Thanks. like I could feel a musk-like aura around me. I was sweaty and having flashbacks to the day my 5th grade PE teacher had to take me aside to teach me what deodorant was. My knees were sore and my legs were numb. The carpet had taken to imprinting its woven texture into my flesh. I'd been down here, down there for so long. Honestly, probably couldn't have, could have really used a break and a shower. But having everything in such disarray was keeping me from being able to relax. Bubble wrap and tape, boxes torn to pieces or kicked in for funsies. And somewhere in this mess, there was a box cutter on the floor. But I had no idea where it was at, the, at this point. So that was just going to have to be a fun surprise to find later. I didn't think it was this possible to be so afraid of sickly and to be, to be so tired and sickly and stuffed and ready to explode. I needed some breathing room. I needed just a little space. Hey, pizza's here. Oh, thank God. This is Ian? I don't think I'd ever been so quick in my life standing up. If I'd moved like that in high school, I definitely would have made track for sure. Oh god, it's about time. Easy now. It's still hot. Because who has two thumbs and got there just in time for them to run out? So then they had to go make an entirely new fresh one just for him. <laughs> This guy! <laughs> uh, right. So, seriously. Be careful. The cheese is really hot. Plates are in the bag. Is this Ian sets down a big box of pizza that's already grease-soaked enough to feel like a he the heavy disc of cheese and sauce inside will fall through the bottom at any second. I was about to literally eat my shirt. I open the box and a wave of heat and cheese smells. Cheese smell floods outwards. It's golden and glorious. Don't you think we're like a bit old to be eating cheese pizza still? It's pizza. How the f do you grow out of pizza? And then you grab a slice. Ian grabs a slice of. After I do, we'll be both. <laughs> what? <laughs> And we both begin to race to see who can down the most molten cheese the fast molten grease the fastest. I feel like maybe we should be past this phase. What about trying a combination pizza next time? Oh, so Okay. You're complaining about the fact that there's no toppings on it. Okay, but with all those toppings on top, you don't get 
the big cheese top. Right. Right. Almost as if to demonstrate my point about the superiority of cheese pizza, he takes a long stringy bite that stretches what looks to be half a foot long. And it's in that moment that I can't help but think, there's really no place I'd rather be. Growing up, there weren't too many options for best friends. For one reason or another, the fight, slightly and unfocused minds of toddlers who'd shown up to Mrs. Grigham's first grade class didn't seem too interested in developing deep, meaningful friendships. The only one who seemed to want a friend was the kid who never seemed to have any. That was Ian. Ian wasn't particularly loud, but he didn't have cool clothes or toys. Okay. He just kind of faded into the background. A lot of kids made fun of him, but in the end, that only made him even an even better friend once I got to know him. He was a nerd, and he was silly, and he was very apologetic. Apologetically himself. But we had, what we had was special, and it still is. Here we are, years and years down the line, getting an apartment together, going to college together. I can spend the rest of my life like this. Are you alright? I guess. I don't know what this is. A snap out of my blissful trance. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I'm alright. You're totally spacing on me. Is, is everything okay? Of course, I was just thinking about how nice this is all going to be. You really think so? You don't. I know so. You aren't regretting this. Uh, I don't know if it's just me, but I, I wasn't expecting that. Why? If you change your mind later, I won't be upset. But... I really hope that this isn't uh, too weird. What? Why would it be weird? We're a thing, right? Like a couple? I've known you since you, you were still wetting the bed. Hey, that's not even fair. You know, I just have a really small bladder. My point is nothing you could do would be weird. And I'm hoping nothing I could do would be weird either. Ian pauses and gives a downcast glance at the floor. Well, it, isn't it sinful? Sinful? What are you talking about? Why would this be sinful? I, I just worry, okay? Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm being paranoid. I'm sorry. What's wrong with this guy? Ian... Uh, his face doesn't fall. It falls to the floor. My mom called me. That's great. Someone gave her our address. Or she might have had one of her friends watching. I don't know. She, she, she said this. She says that. To live with someone out of wedlock, it, it's a sin, and I'm going to hell. What the fuck? She said I'm only doing it to, to satisfy uh, my, my manhood. I know it's your I'm mom, but like... I'm not taking advantage of you by doing this, am I? Bro, normally under any other circumstance, I'd tell someone they'd wanted what they wanted to hear, but I know Ian, so I cut out the middleman and just hold him. I hold on to him tight like he's going to run away or melt or fall if I don't. He holds me back after a while. Promise me that. Want this too? I know she's just being mean, but I love you. I just need to hear you say it. 
I love you, Ian. And I, d if I didn't love you, I wouldn't be here. He clings to me even more. Ian has a bit of a cry, but after we block his mother's phone number and move on. Yeah. We have as much peach as we can stomach, but after a while, the delicious savor like qualities of the pizza turn into dairy overload and we call it quits all right oh so we've done most of the unpacking out here and that's just about it right <laughs> yeah should be although i did find one other box of yours mixed in another one huh. i don't remember having any others my room is pretty much set up now, and nothing seems missing. Well, it was in your dorm, so it's gotta be yours. I bring Ian to a small box sitting among the and refuse, among the refuse and remains of the of my unpackaging spree. Kneeling down, Ian pulled the strip of tape sealing the box shut away and opened it. Oh, uh, right. Okay. I know what this is. <laughs> what is it? This is Momonga. Damn. And I just got my shelves all situated too. <laughs> okay. Ian flips through a few of them. They're a mix of matte covers and doggy ear corners. And glossy, almost laminated covers that look brand new. It will be nice to put all these out in the open. No more hiding. My little victory dance you know this is our home nobody can tell us what to do anymore you're right about that he was right he had to keep that stuff with me or read it in the library before dirty picture books his mom called them but now he was finally free to enjoy all that stuff ian placed the book back into the box and closed it up again come on let's go christen my room with these bad boys Or girls. Girls? Books. <laughs> I stifle the chuckle and as Ian heaves and hollows the box upwards. Let me make a single foul line trek to his room. Okay. Ian sets the box down on, on his bed and begins unloading it in brick-like stacks. Awesome. Challenger Tribulation is an A, so that'll be easy. Solution of the Reckless is on a pretty full shelf, though. Th that's the S's. So, uh, I'll have to move the entire shelf one down. Well, that sucks. He, thus he thoughtfully studies his bookshelf with the intense intensity of an archaeologist studying hieroglyphics. I sit there and look at the pretty pictures in the books. There's a few nice ones and a few that I'm not too interested in. A lot of these dates so far back I'm getting flashbacks. Glomping. Yaoi paddles. Those cookie sticks that you bought because you they were cute to take pics with even though they weren't all that satisfying. I have to stop myself from visibly cringing when one of the books mentions those felt cat ear hats that everyone in school had to have at some point. I continue to pick through as he carefully splices each edition into his collection. Honey Trumpet? I fish out a book featuring a tall handsome boy with glasses. He's not muscle bound and he's kind of a beanpole. But from my experience, that's what constitutes unattractive in these. He's holding on to what I can only assume is a blushing love interest in tight clothing. I jump right into the middle of the- Oh wow. Hey, you're alright? I know, I know. It's, it's real mixed bag. I just kinda grabbed what I could. They're sentimental to me. Except that one. Before I know it, the book is gone. Ian is clutching the book in his arms, looking red as a tomato. No, I'm not reading that. It's, it's, it's 
not. I'm gonna censor that too. Technically, it's etchy, and and you weren't supposed to see that. Shit. This is what I was talking about. I I, I, I didn't mean to make it weird. I promise. It's just something I picked up on the side. That's all. It's... At this point, I can't help but peer into the box again. Scantily clad characters sit in provocative poses cover to cover. There's not much left in there at this point, but that's at least a dozen. So, that's a lot of... Oh, come on. I just told you. It's not... Beep. It's getting censored. There's almost a crack in his voice reminiscent of days past. Ian grabs the box off the bed and shoves the book in it promptly. Th 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 these are mostly doge and shit. Mm -hmm. Fan comics. You get them because you like the main series and that's it. He looks at me, almost offended. It's... Oh my gosh, she's literally explaining to you what it is. Alright, so if it's not... Can I see more? I was still looking at those. What? No! I'm shelving these uh, and you can read them later. Once they're on the shelf. When I'm done. How do I know you aren't going to put them under your bed or something? It's not... Why would I put them under my bed? Uh, wait, wait. What do you mean, under my bed? What are you doing under my bed? What are you doing with all these books? Like... That's my cue to leave. Hey! Don't just run away! Uh... Uh, c come on! Don't be a jerk! We lived together? I flee the scene of the crime giggling like a kid again. I'm being serious! You're not going under my bed, are you? <coughs> <laughs> no. Th that's a violation of my privacy! You don't know what I keep down there! Whoa! All the more reason to go snooping around. How do I tell him I was bluffing? I run into my room and immediately go to hide. Last place he'd look would be behind the door, so I make the hardest U-turn of my life and pull the door as over me as possible. Ian follows after, but doesn't seem to pay any mind to me from my vantageous position. I may just be safe yet. Ha ha ha! Gotcha! Ian bulldozes me. Coming in like a freight train and plowing the two of us directly into the bed. I don't know why I said it like that. A giggling, laughing, flailing mess of people. I try to push him off. I try to get my own leverage. I think he tries to choke hold. Tries to choke hold, but I lick a long, wet strip down his arm. Gross. Ah, gross! He sits back on the bed and dries his arm in the blankets and his lap. What are you, five? I'm not going to say. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Only blow a raspberry at him and the two of us collapse in laughter. Chest heaving from the exchange, I left. I let my hand find his and hold it gingerly. FYI, I've never been under your bed. I just know that's the cliche hiding spot for guys who still buy paper. Still not. But I prefer to support the creators. Making comics is hard, and I'm a connoisseur of the arts, I'll have you know. <laughs> that's funny. We both laugh again. He seems less upset about it all now. We lay in silence, staring at the ceiling for a sweet and calm moment. So, for real, are we going to talk about this? What's, What's there oh. to talk about? <laughs> Me thinking I had to read it? 
part of me wonders if he's genuinely upset, but another half of me feels like he may have really been hiding things from me. And if it's something like sexy maids and cat people, I can imagine that. Oh, I can handle that. But if he feels like he needs to hide things from me, I don't want him to have to live like that. Look, I don't care what you do in your free time so long as you're not seeing anyone else or something. <laughs> you know I'd never do that. Mm-hmm. I know, I'm talking about whatever kind of stuff you like. You don't have to hide it. He shifts uncomfortably next to me on the bed. I squeeze his hand. I know. Deep down, I know. Can I be honest? Go ahead. He fidgets more. That stuff. It's... It's really not what you think it's for. I get it, bro. I get it. You just want to read it. That's fine. That's exactly what I do. It sounds cliche like, as hell, but... I seriously read it just for the stories. Simple. It's it's as simple as that. You're the only person I can see like that. Just you. <laughs> Other people are weird, and... I... I don't know them. But I love you. And I love... doing... <laughs> things with you. I feel safe with you, and I know you think this is silly, uh -huh. but I want to be able to make you feel as good as those guys in the books. Interesting. I only think about you. He blushes and fidgets with his hands. It really is just such a squirrely handle, bundle of nervousness. I wrap him in my arms and nuzzle into his torso. I could hear his sharp inhale afterwards and felt the relaxing of his body as he slowly got comfortable in the embrace. I felt him melt into me. It's not like this is the first time I've done this with him. Growing up, we got used to holding each other, letting each other ride out the worst of whatever we are feeling. It was almost cute how he still needed me like this. But I'd also be lying if I said that I wasn't fond of this myself. You okay? Yeah, I, I think I am. He shifts his weight pressing against me. It's cozy against him and I'd be content to stay like this forever. Until I feel something firm between our bodies. Is it a wad of blanket, something left on the bed? Reaching a hand down, I tried to adjust whatever that was. Must be his wallet, or... Jeez! Uh, Ian yelps. That still said Ian at the top, so I thought it was gonna like... I thought he was gonna say his name and then yelps like what <laughs> shoot sorry there's something in the sheet i think let me see i slide my open palm hand down filling up the mask to see if i can make out what it is it's fine it's probably just a shirt or something here shift over and ian again my name's still there ian seized almost like a jolt of electricity had shut up his spine no i don't think there's anything there you you really should stop, though. Um, just in case. Oh my gosh. Do you have a hog down there? No, I swear to god there's something here. Wow, we're really pushing it. Me and him squirming more on the bed. The sheets were so messed up at this point. Was it a wallet or something? Maybe he knew what it was. Are we acting dumb on purpose? I've touched his wallet plenty of times and... Ian grips my shoulders tightly, whimpering softly into my ear. Uh, you okay, buddy? 
I was trying to tell you... Uh, that's... Me. <gasps> so shocking. Oh. We did that for a good five minutes. <laughs> Universe's gaze. Shit. Yeah. Did I ruin this? Do you want me to go? I'm still not understanding. For anyone else, this might be a tad awkward, but he's not just anyone else. No, stay. St stay forever. All right. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I can't get a break. A few moments later. He was cut off. And so was whatever oxygen supply I had left as he... Mm-hmm. You got it. Mm. No. Mm. I can, I, we can all guess what was really warm. Damn! You gotta describe it three times? Move on! Oh my gosh! The galoshing in my mouth really made- Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut up! I think we get it. <laughs> okay? We understand that it was nice, thick, and warm. We get it. Get fucking. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I ended. The demo ended already. I don't even know why. Why did I click this? Then in a flash, I gave a gasp as I was finally lifted from him. Okay. That breath of fresh air rushing upon. Can you. Rushing to my lungs and hitting me like someone who's been thirsting all their life. Finally having that sense that intense thirst quenched. It took me a few minutes before I could focus. After a moment, it was Ian's voice bringing me back to reality. It's gonna take him a while. Hey. Are you okay? I I didn't hurt you, did I? I would have told you. His gentle, albeit panicked voice was calming. I reassured him with a smile while he cupped my face in his hands. It's okay, I I'm fine. Ian's helps Ian's <laughs> Ian helps me clean up because it was so sloshy after they're really that's really not much of a mess but he fusses about what he can he seems much less tense than before I didn't need to wonder wonder why I'm sorry I, I wasn't too rough with you was I not really, I didn't mind it. <laughs> That's good then. This man is like... I pat the bed and Ian follows like a puppy, snuggling up with me beneath the covers. He's shy about a lot of things, but affection isn't one of them at the moment. You know, the only person I want is you. Don't you? He kisses my forehead gently before nesting in. I'm still trying to figure out who the voice actor is. I could. I try, you know. Uh, he kisses my forehead gently before nestling in for what will probably turn out to be a nap for the both of us. Just you and me. Forever. Well, until we break up. Unfortunately. Right. Forever. I couldn't be happier. And then we break up. Hello? Oh. I had to click again. Where are we going now? 